As the country marks the 75th Republic Day, the parade at the Kartavya Path in the national capital will be women-centric, indicating the roles played by women in various sectors. This year, India is set to commemorate its 75th Republic Day, marking the adoption of the Constitution on January 26, 1950, and the attainment of sovereignty. The theme of this year's Republic Day will be Viksit Bharat and Bharat Loktantra Ki Matruka, which symbolizes the country's aspirations and its role as the nurture of democracy. The parade, which will commence at 10.30 a.m. today, will continue for around 90 minutes. For the first time, the parade will be heralded by 100 women artists playing Indian musical instruments. The parade would commence with the music of Shank and others to be played by, by women artists. The parade will also witness an all-women tri-service contingent marching down the Kartavya path for the very first time. The CAPF contingent will also consist of women personnel. And right now we are uh, waiting for the national tricolor to be unfurled. For more on this, we have Rishabh on the phone line. Rishabh, a very happy Republic Day to you. What's special about this year? See, it is a unique uh, Republic Day for that matter. And when it comes to parade, it will be very, very unique. We have always seen army band leading the parade. But this time around, there will be a group of 100 women uh, with shank and other Indian instruments leading. They have been called the Avahan group who will call on the parade to begin saluting the dais. We'll have Emmanuel Macron as the chief guest. This is the sixth uh, time when a French dignitary is gracing the occasion of Republic Day as the chief guest. Apart from that, uh, you know, in 2016, the first time a foreign delegation, a foreign contingent uh, marched through the Rajput, back then, now Kartavepat. This is the second time the French legion will be marching through the Kartavepat, uh, saluting the dais. There are 95 marching... Uh, members in the contingent while there will be 33 other band members from uh, French Legion who will be uh, leading it. Nari Shakti will be on display. Most of the contingent commanders are women. There is, it's for the first time that armed forces, medical uh, services, the AMS will be uh, you know, marching through the Kartave Path saluting the diet and also a tri-services women contingent led by Major Ruchi Yadav will also so be uh, you know saluting the tie so uh, nari shakti will be on display there will be fly pass where the french rafael along with mrtt will be uh, also uh, you know you're taking part in uh, fly pass so definitely a unique uh, uh, republic day parade awaits everyone 10 30 is when the parade will begin uh, we'll see the uh, president and prime minister going to uh, to uh, war memorial first saluting and paying homage to the uh, Majavan Jyoti and right. from there they'll come to uh, Kartave Path where the parade will begin at 9.30. Right and Risha before that also Times Now has exclusively spoken to the parade commander Bhavnesh Kumar just ahead of the parade. Listen in. The Republic Day Parade is just a short while away and I have with me Lieutenant General Bhavnish Kumar, GOC Delhi area, and of course, commander of the parade. Morning, sir. It's Thank you. Good morning, It's a pleasure Sanjay. to see you. Welcome to Times Now. It's a big moment coming up. The Republic Day Parade, you'll be commander. And a lot of work has gone into it. You won't know it when you see it, but it's taken a lot of spit, a lot of polish, a lot of energy. First of all, even as far as you are concerned, how do you deal with this? The whole country is looking at you. The world is looking at you. What goes behind all the effort? How do you deal with it even mentally? Thank you. Thank you, Shrinjoy. Uh, this is a very uh, important moment for all of us. And uh, it's a great honor which has been given to me to lead this parade. And uh, I feel very grateful this, uh, for this. We have been practicing very hard to present our high 
standard of the parade at Kartavya Path. And, uh, you know, when you are uh, moving at the Kartavya Path, leading the parade, in front of you, you can see, you know, uh, the National War Memorial and the statue of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bosch, which reminds you of the supreme sacrifices made by our leaders and our soldiers towards the service to nation. And when you are on the Kartavya path, on both sides of the, uh, this path, the citizens, the public is, you know, there is a huge amount of patriotic fervor and you feel the strength of the democracy of this country. And following behind in the parade is the younger generation of the officers and soldiers who would be marching and who are on the equipment which we are going to be showcasing. And far further behind is the school children and the college children as part of the National Cadet Corps contingent and the National Service Scheme contingents. So it reminds us at the Kartavya Path that we have to continue to focus on our duty and have complete continued commitment to ensure that our nation continues to grow. As also, we have to, you know, nurture our youth, which is following us, and hand over this nation in times to come to them, for them, to, you know, take this country to further higher glories and further, further heights. Undoubtedly. But tell me, what are the special features of this parade? What is different this time? What is the first this time? So this year's uh, Republic Day Parade is going to be unique. You would uh, see uh, the themes of the Republic Day Parade, that is uh, Vikasit Bharat and Lok Tantra Ki Matrata. Uh, these are going to give you the glimpses of the thriving and the evolving landscape of various facets of our nation's strength, which you would be able to witness in this parade. If you look at the military component of the parade, the tri-service component of the parade, both in, in the terms of marching contingents or the equipment or the uh, aerial assets which you would see or the tableaus by the Air Force, the Navy and the Defense Research and Development Organization, you would get a sense of the uh, combat capability which we all have to face any external challenges should there be one and to thwart any threats which may come upon us. And we've got the capability to launch multi-domain operations in an integrated tri-service tri manner, be it in any domain, land, sea, air, cyber, space, or the electromagnetic spectrum in the impacting the cognitive domain. Yes, of course. And importantly, this time, you have something special. Uh, President Macron is going to be here, and he is here, and of course, with you, you'll have the French Foreign Legion. It's a different feeling. Yeah, it's a, a, a very interesting aspect. We got uh, the uh, second infantry regiment of the French Foreign Legion participating. Uh, they would be marching contingent and they would be their band also participating. And apart from this, they would also be their aerial assets, two rafales and one uh, multitask. Uh, transport tanker would also be participating in the fly past alongside the uh, French contingent. Uh, it, it showcases the improved synergy and the interoperability which we are having with our friendly foreign uh, armies or the militaries and uh, the reach which our nation is having not only in and around our country but in the region as also in the globe. Uh, the interesting uh, facet of this parade is also when you see the uh, central armed police forces uh, contingents uh, also marching on the Katavya path, you would get a sense of, you know, uh, the strong force which we have, which helps us in our border guarding, industrial security, or maintaining law and order, or providing protection to the public, as also, you know, meeting any internal security challenges. So you would get that sense that how strong our internal forces are also there. And this parade is also about Nari Shakti. This parade is uh, very much about Nari Shakti. You would see most of the marching contingents are having women. women and most of them are being led by women. In the army component, we have the infantry contingents, of course, those are being 
led by the officers and his men because we don't have uh, women in our infantry. But the engineers uh, contingent is being led by a women officer. Then we have a tri-service contingent in which the Agniwi soldiers are also participating, women soldiers. And we have the uh, core of military police uh, soldiers participating. And it's being led by the women officer with three supernumeraries also from Army, Navy and Air Force, all women officers. And this is the first time that the uh, Armed Forces Medical Services contingent is also participating, which would be having the officers of uh, Army Medical Corps, Dental Corps, and also of the Military Nursing uh, Service. Yeah, that's actually splendid to have so many women on uh, uh, the, the uh, parade. The other thing, of course, you mentioned this briefly, is this issue that relates to jointness. That is the future, isn't it? Absolutely. And the future is already here as far as the parade is concerned. Absolutely. So that's what I said when you, you know, view this whole military component in terms of a tri-service uh, force which we have. If you look at the tableaus, uh, the naval tableau is showcasing the sea power through indigenization and the air force tableau is showcasing the uh, humanitarian aid and the disaster relief which we are not only providing within our country but also in and around within the region to help our friendly uh, foreign countries or to extricate our own uh, uh, people diaspora who's who's got stuck in some some of these you know disasters or something so uh, and the kind of equipment if you really put your focus you could get that sense that we are moving towards you know uh, having developing a capable capability of launching integrated operations in a tri-service manner. Finally, sir, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has spoken about Atma Nirbharata, about self-reliance. How can you showcase that in a little while? See, you would see in this parade a whole lot of uh, new equipment in tri-service is being made uh, indigenously. And uh, there is a whole lot of new technology infusion also, and we would be showcasing new generation equipment in this uh, parade. If you look at the aerial assets which are participating, we will be showcasing the Tejas aircraft participating, and then we have the uh, Rudra helicopters, that is the advanced, uh, advanced uh, helicopter with the weapon system integrated. And the latest uh, newly developed uh, Prachand uh, combat helicopter, which is there. And in the army component, you would see the equipment like a NAG uh, missile system and the 15 uh, meters short span bridge uh, Sarvatra and the weapon locating radar uh, Sarath. And the Navy component is showcasing through their tableau the battle group which has been made indigenously it's based on the INS Vikrant and then the other uh, ships of the class INS Delhi and Kolkata and also the uh, their uh, frigates, and frigates and all and the satellites and all uh, which is coming from the Rukhani, uh, Rukmani and the G, G sats uh, so th these kind of indigenous equipment is being showcased and we have been moving at quite a pace towards Atmanir Bharata. Thank you very much, sir. It was such a pleasure meeting you just before the parade and best of luck for the parade. Thank you so much, uh, Shrinjoy. I would just like to add one more thing. Uh, you know, I have spoken about the military component and uh, the paramilitary forces, but a very interesting facet is through the tableaus and through the cultural program which is being showcased uh, in which we have about 1,500 participants, women participants coming from all over India, they would be showcasing how strong our institutions are, how strong our uh, various, uh, uh, you know, cultural diversity and uh, the folk diversity which we have. It's going to be meshed together on Kartavya Path. And one very uh, new thing which is happening this time is, uh, immediately after the Rashtriya salute and national anthem, there would be a group of 100 women artists who would be, you know, uh, preceding uh, the parade uh, 
by you know uh, playing shank and the nagaswaram and nagara and the drums so that's how the celebrations would start that's india for you that is india for us